today we're talking about your inner ninja, the reformer, and leg jumping. Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we'll be talking about your inner ninja, the reformer, and leg jumping. Using the reformer is such a great way to talk to our tissue and our skeletal system about being buoyant, about coordinating together. So we had a previous segment on stair climbing and some exercises that you can do on the mat to help you with uh, that skill. And the reformer is gonna be a thousand times better. It's gonna bring you up to speed so fast, you and your clients, if you're having trouble with those exercises or with being efficient in walking or stair climbing. So again, the reformer, not because just because of all this outer support you have with the carriage and the frame, but most importantly, the support you have with the springs as you move. So the springs talk to our body in the most beautiful way, and our body understands the springs, about that kind of gradual contraction and that gradual release and all the transitions in between. So you can tell I'm a fan of the reformer. Beautiful for this type of work. So we're gonna get down onto the carriage, supine, and we're gonna look at a little bit of, first, just a tiny bit of skill building for the jump, really quick. Now, this skill building, if you're interested in knowing more, on our apprentice program, our reformer apprentice program, we have a whole section on jump board, and we go deeply into kind of the foundations of how to bring your clients up to speed on how to feel comfortable with the jump board. Today we're going to explore some fun, unusual exercises. So I have my handy dandy yoga block here. And first we're going to just do a little bit of, of skill building to kind of acclimate the client on where they are in space and also to make them aware of their feet and toes and to warm them up. So as if my feet were two stickers, I wanna peel my feet up and literally, like a ballet dancer, I wanna to go to the tips of my toes. And then from my toe pads all the way down to my heel, I wanna stick my feet back again. And then, you know, client can always bring their head up to make sure that they're even on the jump board. And again, from the heel all the way through the tips of my toes and then peeling back down. And from here with this exercise, I'm on a red and a yellow. So I want some spring to help me with this. So we'll just do one more all the way through the tips of the toes. So I'm really warming up the arch of my foot and then trying to be even as I go down. And the yoga block, I'm not having a death squeeze here on the yoga block. I'm just holding it just enough to keep my leg bones in line. Now, the next one that I'm gonna do is a little jump just through the foot and the ankle. So I want the spring to be a little bit lighter. So on this next one, I'm gonna change it to a blue. And this is still some, some skill building. So I've done the warm up of the, the pointed toe. And now from here, I'm gonna try as much as I can to keep my upper leg bone in place and just flicking the board away from my foot and ankle. And I wanna to come to that place where my heel can arrive on the board. And you can always slow this down, right? So really arrive on the board and flick and arrive and flick and arrive. If your clients need a little bit more mid-back integrity, it's great to have them hold the silver poles behind them and bring the elbows up, 
right? And so they can do that same thing. Flick and arrive all the way down into the center of their heel. Flick and arrive. Woo, and that is some nice work for the dorsiflexors. Beautiful work. So we'll get rid of the yoga block. And now we're going to go on to some fun exercises here. Now, this next one, um, I'm going to go to a red and a blue because I'm actually going to be hanging on to the springs at the tower of my reformer, right? So I have a, a tower attached to this reformer. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. It's always better if you have a teacher to help you to get into this. A little bit awkward to um, get into it by yourself. Here we go. Hopefully, Angelo can cut that out. <laughs> so I'm hanging onto the springs, right? And I have a little bend in my elbow. And this is gonna really help me to connect into my mid-back, help me to find a strong anchor there, and kind of feel my lower wing muscles below my armpits. And then from here, right, I can start to jump away. So a full flossing of my legs. <sighs> And this is really nice. And this, you know, this will also be um, lots of support for your clients who are just getting used to the jump board, right? You see them jumping and the whole spine leaves the, the mat and they can't keep their pelvis stable. This is going to give them lots of integrity, right? It's going to help them find the back of their heart, find their mid-back, and then elongate downward from their lumbar spine and open up their sitting bones. And so it'll help them to keep that as they go through their leg jumping. Beautiful work. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can let those go with a little bit of grace. There we go. Then I'm gonna come up. And now, the cherry on top. This is very difficult. I'm going to just a yellow spring. And I'm going to only a yellow spring because mainly I want to have a lot of float time. And I also want to have a lot of options in my joints and a lot of fluidity. So with the stair climbing that we were looking at for fascial fitness, or with a lot of the hops that they do um, in fascial fitness, you know, our bodies, adults have kind of lost their kid body. So we don't remember how to bounce. We don't remember our, our bone structure and our tissues don't remember that buoyancy. The reformer helps us to get our kid body back. The reformer and its springs. So again, this is a great way to bring your clients up to speed before you have them just hop around onto the floor because they're going to hurt themselves. So here we go, yellow spring, right? Now this is, this, these few that I'm showing you are a little bit more advanced. So you're going to want to wait on these for a little bit um, with your clients. So elbows can go up. I just have a yellow spring. This is going to be lots and lots of um, deep belly. I have to adjust my microphone here so it's out of the way. So I'm anchored here, my legs stay straight, and I'm only gonna work through my feet and my ankles, right? So I have upper inner thighs, long belly, supple psoas here, and so I really wanna arrive with my heels before I peel away. And now I can add like a little happy baby knee float to this, right? So, so maybe do three and then squat. <laughs> three, two, one, and squat. <laughs> three, it's really fun. Two, one, and squat. Nice. All right, so another one that I really like is, um, the figure four stretch. So you can cross your ankle over. 
the ankle all the way over the leg, right? So you're, you're not just hanging out in your ankle joint, but this will help you to open the hip a little bit. The standing leg can be parallel or turned out. And it's really nice to be working on one leg because, you know, with the double leg, you're, you're stronger or you're more buoyant, your more knowledgeable leg is kind of taking over. So really, really good to work separately. So here, I'm going to try to be parallel and just work through my ankle and foot, right? And then if I want a little bit more hip opening, you see how I'm opening or dorsiflexing this top foot and kind of thinking about wrapping my pelvic half here on the left around. So that's giving me lots of work. And then from here during the float, I can do more of that figure four, right? which is gonna open my hip a little bit more. So let's do it in threes again. So three, two, one, and, and three, two, one, and, and three, two, this helps, I forgot this, three, and, and three, woo, two, this is good work. And in. All right. That is a workout. That's fun. All right. So if you are interested in this work, interested in how the jump board can help your clients with their fascial fitness and their inner, their inner ninja, I suggest trying these exercises depending on your client with your clients. But also, if you know that you just need a little bit more training on the jump board, do check out our Reformer Apprentice Program because we go in depth with it. And you'll, you'll gain lots of skills that you can give to your client to kind of layer on so that they can get to this more advanced work. <laughs>